hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, the process of conversion of a decimal number into its hexadecimal form so far we have discussed about the conversion or the interconversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal decimal to octal and octal to decimal and now we will go for the decimal to hexadecimal conversion and then we'll discuss the opposite the hexadecimal to decimal conversion so let us take an example of a decimal to hexadecimal conversion so let's take a decimal number let's say 650 650 and we have to convert it into the equivalent base 16 or the hexadecimal form okay now in the binary uh, decimal to binary conversion what we did is that we divided the decimal number with the base or radix of the binary number system which is 2 we divided it with 2 to convert decimal to octal we divided the decimal number with the base or radix of the octal system which is 8 so here for decimal to hexadecimal conversion we will use the same principle we will divide the decimal number with the base or radix of the octal system uh, sorry the hexadecimal system which is 16 the base or radix of the hexadecimal system is 16 so what we'll do we'll perform repeated division by 16 okay 16 so 650 divided by 16 so if we divide directly with 40 you know it will get 640 will get isn't it 40 into 16 is 640 if we do it directly so we'll get the remainder as 10 10 is hexadecimal system is nothing but a okay so we'll get 40 we'll multiply and we'll get the remainder as 10 or a again 16 uh, will get uh, let's say 6 into 40 will again multiply it with 40 and we'll get 16 into 2 32 16 into 2 32 40 minus 32 is 8 now we cannot perform any more division because 2 is lesser than 16 2 is lesser than 16 so we cannot perform any more division by 16 and we have to stop here at 2 and we have to proceed upwards up so this 650 in decimal form is actually 2 8 and a 2 8 and a in hexadecimal form 2 8 a because 10 is written as a in hexadecimal form so 650 in decimal is 28a in hexadecimal form so we did the same thing that we did in the other conversion uh, cases we divided the decimal number with the base or radix of the hexadecimal system which is 16 we performed repeated uh, division until we reach the quotient value which is less than the base or radix 2 is less than 16 so we cannot perform any more division then including that last quotient which is lesser than the base we proceeded upwards including all the remainder values upwards and we wrote it in that order first the last quotient 2 and then the remaining remainders 8 and 10 which is written as a okay so it's the same principle which we used in decimal to binary and decimal to octal there we divided it with 2 and 8 respectively and we noted the remainders and we proceeded until we reached the quotient which is less than the base or radix and then we proceeded upwards to find the number okay so let us take another decimal number which will uh, represent in hexadecimal form let's say we take 496 decimal number and we have to convert it into hexadecimal form okay 
now we have to perform repeated division by 16 496 into 16 so 496 divided by 16 at first it is 3 say 48 1 16 1 the remainder is 0 so it's 31 okay quotient the remainder is 0 again 16 into 1 because 16 into 2 will be 32 it will be greater than 31 so 16 into 1 and this remainder is 15 which is nothing but f okay 15 in hexadecimal representation is written as f now we cannot perform any more division because 1 is lesser than 16 so we have to stop here and then in order to represent the given hexadecimal uh, decimal number in hexadecimal form will proceed upwards including the last quotient and we will note it in this order so 496 in decimal form is actually 1 f and 0 1 f and 0 in hexadecimal form okay 496 in decimal is actually 1 f and 0 in hexadecimal or base 16 form so next let us uh, discuss how to convert a fractional number decimal number into its equivalent hexadecimal form so we'll take a fractional number let's say 0 0.45 okay let's take 0 0.45 in uh, case of binary and octal what we did is that we multiplied the given fractional decimal number into its base or radix we multiplied either with 2 or 8 in case of decimal and octal respectively here we will do the same thing we will multiply the given fractional part into the base or radix which is 16 that is first we will do 0.45 into 16 ok 0.45 into 16 let me calculate it is equal to 7.20 ok or 7.2 we can write so we will consider only this digit which is to the left of the hexadecimal point ok we will write it here separately then the remaining if we take 7 out of 7.20 it will be 0.20 into again we will multiply into 16 it will be 3.2 3.2 so we will consider this we will take it outside 3 again 0 0.20 into 16 is equal to again 3.2 we have to proceed up to at least 3 decimal places we have to perform this at least 3 times to get the nearest accurate result then after performing 3 times this operation we will start from the top and move downwards Okay, so this in decimal is actually 0.733 in hexadecimal form. 0.733 h. There is no need to put a bracket if we write it in this form. Okay, 0.45 in decimal is 0.733 in hexadecimal form. So we use the same principle as we did in binary and octal. There we multiplied it with and 8 here we are multiplying it with 16 which is the base or radix of the hexadecimal system then we only consider the digit to the left of the point we take it outside we multiply again the remainder the remaining value with 16 and we proceed up to three decimal places we repeat it three times and then we proceed downwards and note these values and uh, this gives us the hexadecimal form equivalent hexadecimal so here we have discussed about uh, how to convert a given decimal number into its hexadecimal form for both whole and fractional decimal numbers so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you
very much.